A stark juxtaposition from six months ago when it seemed like Canadian basketball player after Canadian basketball player from the NBA dropping out of a commitment to play for Team Canada at the FIBA World Cup. Canada has one last opportunity to qualify for the Olympic Games in a last chance qualifying tournament in Victoria next June and this time around Canada player after Canada player committing to play for the team. Jamal Murray, Shea Gilders Alexander, cousin Nikhil Alexander Walker, RJ Barrett amongst the latest committed players joining guys that have already etched their name into the media saying they want to play. We are no longer having the conversation about guys not wanting to play anymore, Donovan Bennett. Uh, we need to talk about the guys that are actually committed and how positive that is for the program. Yeah, and also, I mean, look at the date. We're not even into December, so we haven't gone through a full NBA season. We haven't got to the All-Star break yet. And the fact that Dylan Brooks and Powell came out and said, yeah, I want to be in. there, regardless of the contract situation. Then Jamal Murray puts it on Twitter, and you see the literally positive peer pressure of other guys <laughs> with the same passport saying, well, if they're in, I'm going to be in, in as well. I love the fact that the leaders within the program, it's been a force multiplier. They want to play and other guys want to play with them. It's not just that they're in as well. There's like sentiment around it. They are talking about how uh, they want to wear the red and white. They want to help build the next generation of basketball star in this country. And again, the way to do that is to give exposure to the game. We were all so thoroughly disappointed because the Raptors were coming off that championship. And we thought Canada basketball is going to have a moment this summer, right? right? Canada basketball is going to have a moment. You could argue fully loaded. They're the second most talented international team in the world behind the United States of America, who we don't even know the level of commitment they're gonna get, right? right? We don't know what level of star is going to play, but still, I have no problem putting them above a healthy US team, obviously above Team Canada. Yes, there are other strengths, like Spain is good. Um, some of the teams Canada are gonna have to play, Greece, they're good too, but like, fully loaded top to bottom. Canada could field an entire NBA team on their international roster, which is crazy. Yes, and they're gonna need that depth. Yes, yes. yes depth of high level player because now that we know the group that they're going to be in, they're going to be in a group with probably the best player on the Giannis planet. Giannis Antetokounmpo in yeah. Greece. Let me go through the group. Czech Republic, Turkey, China, Uruguay, all within the six-team tournament in Victoria. One of those six teams is going to make the Olympic Games. That's it. The last three qualifiers have one team from each making the Olympics. Uh, Greece is ranked seventh. The Czech ranked 14. Turkey 15. Canada right now is ranked 21st, but that's solely based on the fact that they're losing games because NBA players are not there. They're better than 21st in talent if everybody's there. I want to ask you about one guy that hasn't committed and hasn't committed for a while, Andrew Wiggins. Do you mm -hmm. think with the depth of players that have now committed to said team, an absence of Wiggins is easier to manage? Or do you think this team still needs his presence, his scoring? Yeah, it wouldn't help. Of, it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt. Right, absolutely. Uh, it, it totally would help. And it, I think he will be there. He has said as much when he wasn't there last summer. He said, listen, I'll be there when it's the Olympics, but I'm taking a summer yeah. to make sure that my body and my game are right because I need to have a breakout year in my sixth NBA season. By the way, his game is kind of right now, right? Yeah, he's had that breakout yeah. year. So now Andrew Wiggins at his best for the Timberwolves and afterwards Andrew Wiggins at his best for Canada is a good thing for everybody. So based on what he's told me prior, I fully expect him to be there. But the great conversation is that we have other great players that if he's not there, they still should be favored to get out of this group. 100%, yes, Giannis, yes, Giannis. But Nick Nurse, remember, is the coach and his defensive schemes this year have become a talking point around NBA circles because of how efficient and how numerous they are as well. I imagine he'll have a plan devised. It's good to have his commitment there uh, for another summer as well. I wanna big up Canada basketball. Mm -hmm. I wanna big up Canada basketball because a lot of people said China, that's far, right? The FIBA yeah. World Cup. So they're like, you know what? We're gonna invest the money in trying to host this tournament here in Victoria, in Canada. Yes. And they did it, they did it. And so players really don't have to travel. You're within country here, right. a lot of guys, and they'll make sure they're taken care of that. Uh, how much credit do you give Canada basketball for bringing this tournament home? Massive, right? Yeah, because yeah. it doesn't just help get them to the Olympics. It helps grow the game right here in this country. The fact that people are talking about it now in, December, in the, the weeks leading up to December is a great thing for the sport. So we've talked about the players and we needed their commitment. This is a two-part conversation. Yeah. We need the commitment of the fans. There have been some qualifying games in this country and really, if we're being honest, in the city of Toronto where the attendance was pitiful. Yeah. Yep. And so if we want the players to give up their free time, we need to go out and support them. And that is not just fans, it's also broadcasters as well. June 23rd to 28th in Victoria, Canada, their men's team will have one last chance to qualify for the Olympic Games in Tokyo just three weeks later.